This is very exciting for me. It's your first time here. It is. Also exciting, we have collaborated once before. We have indeed. Yeah. You did a little episode of This Is Us. I got you? to do uh, a cameo in This Is Us. Yes. And uh, it was written so that I could play well within my range as an actor. I you got were, to play myself. You were Seth Myers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a lot of fun, though. It was so much fun, dude. You were so great. You're a better actor than people give you credit for. What? Because people say a lot of crazy stuff yeah, uh, behind closed doors. Sure, sure, but none sure. But it's yeah. true. <laughs> You're awesome. That's awesome. Uh, it was really fun because we did shoot in New York. We got to yeah. hang out the first time I, I got to meet you, and, and it was good to hang out. It was also cool because it was before I got a chance to go do SNL. Yes. And I talked to you about it. I was like, what's it like? Is it crazy? Is it cool? And then I finally got to do it. And it you crushed awesome. that, which Thank was fantastic. You, it was a blast. This Thank you. This movie is uh, wonderful. Thank you. And it's a, it's a departure from Randall. For and sure. And This Is Us, which yeah. I imagine to some degree is uh, and not just the quality of the script when you saw it, but it must be nice to play something different. It's always nice when you get recognized for a body of work, then other people just coming up to you and say, hey, Randall! <laughs> and you, you love the love that people have for Randall, but it's always nice when people know your name and appreciate, like, the totality of it. Yeah. Uh, this is a fantastic film. And at the same time, we're talking backstage. You've been very busy because you're shooting This Is Us. You're yeah. promoting this film and then also... Uh, Frozen 2. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm trying on to that. stomp for it. Yeah. Thank you. Hopefully, it finds an audience. Yeah, I know. Um, I know it had a rough, a rough first week. It's weekend. been a tough first yeah. week. I was back there partying with uh, Anna and Elsa in the snow, <laughs> which was a good time. Uh, you, uh, your kids are uh, eight, eight and four. And four. Yeah, two so they, boys. Are they, uh, are boys that age, are they impressed with Frozen 2? Not at all. Okay. No, listen. They are impressed by it. They're not impressed that I'm in it. They love the movie. They oh. love the music of it. And then I say, like, after it's over, I was like, did you, you think Daddy did a good job? And my ear, I was like, yeah, you were fun. And I was like, thanks. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. <laughs> Fishing for compliments from your eight-year-old. That's what I've been reduced to. Do you to. think that they, that you take them out of it? They're, you know, they're in this fantasy land. They're enjoying it. Then they yeah. hear their dad. All of a sudden, they're like, oh, this is just a movie. That might be a possibility. The four-year-old loves it. He's like, Daddy, that's you. I can hear right. you. So he gets excited. The eight-year-old is like, life should be about me right now. <laughs> yeah. So all this attention that you're gobbling up, like, you got to spread the wealth, brother. So that's, that's where we're But, at. I mean, pretty good. For, uh, for two boys who are eight and four, you uh, not just Frozen 2, but you also have Black Panther. Is the eight-year-old uh, impressed with that as well? Yeah, thank you. He's impressed with it. But here's a note to the wise. If you take your son to a movie where the character that plays your son dies, he may have a traumatic effect. OK, gotcha. Yeah. So after, like, when Killmonger died in the movie, first time in the movie, no, Pete's Dragon was the first time he cried in the movie. This is the second time. But he was convulsing. I had to, like, pick him up, sit him on my lap, and rock him and tell him it was going to be OK. And afterwards, we go to the after party. He would not leave my side. Really? He's like, when are we going home? We're going together. Until then, <laughs> I'm not leaving you. It was beautiful. It was really, really That's sweet. really nice. Yeah. Also, he probably was just a little young. I mean, probably. <laughs> yeah. probably. We, we got introduced to the MCU pretty early. Pretty so. early on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, uh, uh, I also want to ask about this. So your uh, wife, Ryan, also yes. an actress. Correct. And you met in college? We met freshman year at Stanford. Stanford University. Gotcha. In the theater program? In the theater. Yeah. We lived in the same dorm together. Then we auditioned for our first play together. We're both from St. Louis, Missouri. Wow. Born in the same hospital. We both then went to NYU for grad school and started off with the same agency. And then we got married. That's fantastic. Isn't that crazy? I yeah. mean, I feel like if enough things line up. Yeah. It was like the universe was saying, like, maybe you guys <laughs> yeah, should maybe. consider it. But the, uh, is this a true story? Was it her mother that when she first saw you on stage at Stanford, she was not... She, was, she had a warning for, for your wife. She said, uh, I don't care who you date here, just stay away from that boy. And she pointed at me, because I, we did this August Wilson play, uh, Joe Turner's Come and Gone, and the character's very intense, and I was sort of methody at age 18, just trying to inhabit, and my hair was all scraggly and looking crazy, and she's like, that Negro, no bueno, <laughs> stay away. <laughs> no further way to make sure that your daughter marries the man that you don't want her to end up with. Right, Perfect. yeah, you can never rule anybody yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Thanksgiving plans this week? What are you going to do? So we have, my wife has graciously invited 40 people over to our Whoa. house. Whoa! That's amazing. It's God really love, awesome. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> but is it all family? Because sometimes when it gets to be 40, then friends as well? It's family and friends. That's good. And it's actually going to be a lot of fun. We just moved into a new home, so it's an opportunity to share the house with people, like, life has been good, and now we get a chance to be thankful with family and friends. So well, that's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, people are very lucky to have you guys as both family and friends. Yeah. And we are lucky to have you here. Thank you so much, it's man. It's always pleasure. great to see you. Thank you, Sterling K. Brown, everybody.